Dear fellow metalheads and everybody else, please watch this video till the end, even if what you hear is actually very unpleasant for your ears. In the last couple of weeks, Ukrainian armies started liberating the cities and towns in the central and northern part of the country. And yet, instead of feeling euphoria for my native region, I and millions of other Ukrainians feel enormous pain. Pain for the images of atrocities, inhuman cruelty and monstrous behavior that we discovered after Russians left those towns. And I'm not even talking about destroyed infrastructure or wreckage that is left after Russians departed. We can rebuild all of that. Now I'm not even talking about the looted goods that which those orcs stole from Ukrainian homes. Because if you don't know, those bastards have been stealing you no know, microwaves, toasters, blenders, TV sets, Apple products, just anything they could see. And yet, for some reason, the number one thing, you know, that pretty much everyone stole from every Ukrainian home that they walked into were old used carpets. But unfortunately, I'm talking about the images which are too harsh and actually are not allowed to be shared on YouTube, yet the ones that get stuck in your head forever. The images of atrocities which up to a month ago, I would have believed that a human being is simply incapable of doing. I'm talking about Ukrainian women who've been repeatedly gang raped, often in front of their children, and bodies of young Ukrainian girls which were just simply left on the street, on a road. The images of dead children, the images of men with their hands tied behind their back and shot in their head. And before someone rushes to write in the comments that those are most likely fake and are just simply Ukrainian government propaganda, I actually have relatives who've lived through this hell. So if you want to write those messages, just simply close this window, go away, and never come back to this channel like once again. But right after you do that, at least Google Bucha Massacre and see what the independent organizations, including Human Rights Watch, have been telling about this terrible, terrible thing. And so from now on, no one I underline this, no one is allowed to say that all Russians are actually good and those soldiers didn't know what they were doing, you know, and it is only Putin to blame for, you know, this terrible war. No, it was not Putin who raped those girls. It was not Putin who shot men and civilians. It was not Putin who pulled the trigger and killed children. It was a Russian soldier who was allowed to do so and was encouraged, most likely, to do so by his commanders. And so the next time you, you know, with enthusiasm, will read or watch a next conspiracy theory, you know, produced most likely by Russian propaganda, you know, let those images of what happened in Bucha, Irpin, and other Ukrainian cities be in your head and let you remember them every time you believe those bastards. And so yes, after seeing those images of what happened in Bucha and other towns, every citizen of Mordor who is not actively acting against this war is just as guilty for me and every other Ukrainian as Putin is. And I'm talking about real action, not just words. We will prevail. Slava Ukraini!